what's up guys Sebastian here from greenmusicproductions.com uh, today I'm reviewing a really cool plugin called 10x by the company typewriter audio I'll leave a link in the description to their website it's a cheap plugin and it's really useful and it's a small company it's their second plugin so I uh, encourage you to buy the plugin if you like it and uh, let's dive right in so it is a dynamic imager plugin so you're probably used to imager plugins, uh, but this one is more interesting, I think, uh, because you can stereoize a mono track if you want. And it also does a little magic uh, since it's also dynamic. It's really simple. You have an input and an output, uh, one big knob. It feels satisfying to just turn it. Uh, there's an attack and release and an hyperdrive. Hyperdrive is mostly for mono files that you want to make stereo. So for stereo files, I have here a synth. Uh, it's actually a mono synth with a stereo reverb on it. So it's a good example to show what it does uh, because you will hear the reverb come out if I raise the knob right here. So let's try it out. So the reason why you hear the reverb come up is because uh, this plugin won't remove the center part. It will only enhance the, the sides, so the left and right. The reverb is the only thing that is stereo in this track, so uh, it's really useful for that purpose if, if that's what you want. After that, we can try the hyperdrive setting uh, because we have here a mono file, a mono sync. So let's say you're doing like a hip hop beat or something and you have like a cheesy synth line like this. Uh, if you raise the knob by itself, it won't do much. Let's try it out. Because it's a mono file. But if we enable the hyperdrive, you can expand the stereo field of that file and bring it to the left and right and clear up the middle part. So let's say, uh, yeah, as I said, you're working on a song and you have a lot of stuff happening in the middle. Uh, you want this synth to be left and right. That's a really easy way to do it. Uh, now let's uh, mess around with the attack and release and see what it does. As you can see, you can put some strange modulation or texture to your sound uh, by uh, messing around with the attack and release. But it's nice and it's musical. You can uh, use it as an effect if you want or use it in a subtle way. So it's always good. Pretty cool stuff, honestly. This is a mono file, so it shouldn't be stereo, but it's doing a really good job for this uh, kind of stuff. Um, here we have a stereo track. Let's listen to it bypassed first. So it's a weird, funky track if you want, but I used it because there's a lot of stuff happening and it's always moving around in the stereo image. So uh, let's try 10X on this and see what it does. Now, as you can see, if you put it to maximum, it all, almost feels like the sound is coming from the back of your head. So that's a really cool thing if, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, it's really nice. But uh, for this particular synth here, it's a already wide track. There's a lot of stuff happening on the left and right. Uh, but it only enhances it and it clears up the middle a little bit. So I really like what it's doing on this track. <laughs> Really cool stuff. I'm always looking for simple plugin that does one thing but does it really well. And this is the case here. I'm probably going to use it a lot on some stuff that I want to make wider, make bigger. Um, so yeah, check it out. As I said, I'll leave a link to their website in the description. Really cool plugin, not expensive. As usual, if you like that kind of stuff, like and subscribe and see you for the next video. Bye guys.